Hello, this is Asadic, and I'm going to attempt to demonstrate how you add AI lines to a track that has never had AI lines before. And this is if you're not the person that made the track. Because if you had the files in Blender, there's a different method, uh, which I actually haven't done, but I've been told it exists. But if you just get a track from the internet and there's no AI lines, no AI folder, then you kind of have to start from scratch a little bit. And so this is Pudsy. I've never even driven this track, honestly. I'm, I'm, so I'm, we'll see how this goes. But uh, there's no AI folder, so we know there's no AI lines. So I'm going to add the AI folder. And it's empty. And that's fine. So I'm going to open this in a hot lap session. And I'm also going to make sure that I have developer apps turned on. Because I'm going to go have to make um, like the initial very first uh, fast lane, if you will. Um, actually, let's check this while we're at it. Pudsy, uh, there's also no ideal line, which the ideal line and the fast lane are usually, or can be the same file or copies of each other, I should say. Um, so, Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to need this thing. And for the purposes of making the very first AI line, we need to go find start finish. What happened to my laps? Does this thing even have a starting grid? So there's no ideal line. How do you even know where you're supposed to be driving? This is just like a free roam map. Uh. Oh, all right, duh. There it is. Um. I guess the grid's back on the other sh side. I'm not driving there. Okay, we're driving here. Ooh, not driving there. So we must have crossed start finish, but all right, I guess we gotta do a whole lap here. Bonk. Where am I supposed to be going? Okay, uh, not that way. Supposed to be going this way. Oh no! <laughs> uh, okay, restart.
So this must be the start grid. But I can't put AI cars on this track yet because is that supposed to be start line? Ah, uh, what if it even has a start line? Should I be bringing it into Blender? I don't want to do that. Let's see how much of this I remember. This looks like it's uh, reasonably well modeled. And... Oh. Uh, is that pit lane? That kind of looks like pit lane. Is this where pit lane comes out? Ooh. Is that another pit lane? Oh no, gas station. Huh, weird. Um, not going that way. Not going that way. Well, I guess technically you could. Do 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 do. Don't hit the thing. All right, go this way. No, don't go that way. Go this way. Don't go that way. The uh, that was a little bump in that road back there. That's kind of annoying. All right, this must be where I took off from. All right, let's see if. Oh, what? So start lines back here. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, must be right there. Oh, so the grid's behind it. So this is start line. All right, well, I'm learning the hard way here. Uh, so when you make the very first AI line, it's kind of important that you get the car exactly where you want it. And... So I'm just, I'm going to put it right there. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so now I'm going to hit start recording. And I'm going to go drive an AI line. I'm going to try to do this in a more controlled fashion than I drove the last couple laps. More haphazardly. I'm going to try to do this more like I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive and chill. Bump. It's not important that this line be a racing line. It just needs to basically drive the track. Oh, I'm not doing that. And I actually don't remember if I've documented this somewhere else before. It's possible I did this in some other video. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it again now. It's autumn. Pretty autumn, autumn colors. I know what that's about. I'm 
may have to do some googling about Pudsey. Or Pudse. Let's see. Yeah, like this. Yeah, I was when this on ramp, or technically, I don't know, maybe it's an off ramp. Uh, whatever this ramp is, recombines with the road. You'll notice there's a little bit of a oot oot. Yeah, that could be smoothed out. So we should see our two flip over to a three. Oh, right there. Yep. Sweet. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop recording. Uh, stop. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to exit. And this will probably be slow. See, there's a purple line there in the road now from the thing I just drove. Here's my fast lane candidate. It just populated. So this is now the very first fast lane. And I'm just going to rename it. So now there should be spline positions. There's a normalized spline position on track that is a value in the API. So if I reload now into a seto, my oh yeah, I don't have my AI line helper on. But now there is this there's sidelines and there's a fast lane. And the fast lane's not uh, necessarily a real fast lane but if I go turn on the AI line helper I probably should have done that before then See, this thing now has a value that indicates the position on track, the spline position. If I exit this and I rename that to the candidate, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> and then reload. What's this thing going to do? Non. Non. So there is no spline. So it can't tell you where you are. That's why it does that. And now that I have my initial fast lane, I should be able to go about the process of making sidelines to replace the default sidelines, which are probably uh, part of the map, the KN5 file. And there's also, I can make new fast lanes and pit lanes and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that solves that problem for anyone that needs to know. Okay. Thank you.